Venango County is a beautiful place. The average income is $27,000 a year. That's the average. They often do not use the word crudite there. Who do you think relates more to the people in Venango County? Who cares more about you? There are a lot of people in Venango County who feel knocked down. They've been getting knocked down there for years, for decades. Listen to Katie Turr from MSNBC talking about Fetterman's win. Fetterman as a nominee at some point for president, um, I know there's some variables, obviously. <laughs> just but, a few. Just a few. <laughs> but I just, you know, it, it, what he did in the, in the super red, deep red parts of Pennsylvania and the way that he ran ahead of Biden, as you were saying, ran ahead of Trump, I mean, it just makes, it makes you wonder about his future. Some variables is, is one way to put it. Unable to articulate basic policy positions is another. But in a strictly political sense, that doesn't matter. She's right. What he did in the super red, deep red parts of Pennsylvania and the way he ran ahead of Biden, ran ahead of Trump, it just makes you wonder about his future. More importantly, it wonder, makes you wonder who those voters are going to vote for next. Here's Tucker articulating the general Republican consensus. And not only did John Fetterman win, but he won without speaking a single coherent sentence for the entire campaign. Now, you may have been appalled by that, but in some sense, it's an achievement. John Fetterman, in winning, shattered the thickest of all glass ceilings, which for centuries has prevented the unapologetically brain damage from winning statewide election. Sure, it is mean and mean-spirited, but it's true. Fetterman has real issues, and the voters didn't care. That's the real issue why they didn't care. More importantly, what Tucker just said should make Republicans wonder why they nominated a candidate who lost to someone so clearly flawed. Why did the voters of Pennsylvania pick a man who has trouble articulating basic thoughts over a telegenic heart doctor? It's simple. They believe Fetterman cared about them. I make no apologies for Fetterman. In fact, the liberal media trashed me for my assessment immediately following the debate. The biggest issue was John Fetterman's health and his ability uh, both to comprehend speech and then to speak coherently on the issues of the day. That was the biggest issue of the debate. But in the end, it didn't matter. Here is Tucker once again talking about the reasons for Republicans' very disappointing Tuesday night. And then there's the most amusingly stupid explanation of all. <coughs> Excuse us, all election talk. So bad candidates were the problem. And that's all over Twitter. All the Twitter pundits are telling you now. The candidates were subpar, and that was the problem. Candidate quality matters. Well, of course, strictly speaking, that is true. Strictly speaking, winning is everything. In the words of a famous football coach, winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. Yes, a football coach once said that. It's true in football. When you lose in football, it's pretty weak sauce to blame the refs and the fans and the weather. And in politics, it's pretty weak to blame the voters. Nobody knows that actually better than Donald Trump. He broke the blue wall and won Pennsylvania for the first time in 1988. Trump did it by convincing people in Venango County and all up and down Western PA, he cared about them. Just listen to a Trump rally in 2016. Nice, y'all put it on, right? That is a billionaire from New York who flew to the state on his private 757. He went on to talk about how his hair was and if he needed hairspray. It is hard to be more out of touch with Western Pennsylvania and Northern uh, voters in the great state of West Virginia than your private 757. But for some reason, people believed he cared about them. It's not whether he actually cared about those voters or was just using them for political gain. Blue collar coal workers believed he cared. Just listen to the cheers. <laughs> Those same people heard the same talking points from Mehmet Oz and they didn't believe him. It's that simple. Voters are smart. Explaining away your losses by calling them stupid says a lot more about you than it does about the voters. 
Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.